Section 11 of Anti Nicene Christian Library Translations of the Writings of the Fathers down to AD 325 by Alexander Roberts, editor. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Anti Nicene Christian Library Translations of the Writings of the Fathers down to AD 325 by Alexander Roberts, editor. The Acts of Barnabas, the journeyings and martyrdom of St. Barnabas, the Apostle. Since from the descent of the presence of our Savior Jesus Christ, the unwearied and benevolent and mighty shepherd and teacher and physician, I beheld and saw the ineffable and holy and unspotted mystery of the Christians, who hold the hope in holiness, and who have been sealed, and since I have zealously served him, I have deemed it necessary to give an account of the mysteries which i have heard and seen i john accompanying the holy apostles barnabas and paul being formerly a servant of cyrillus the high priest of jupiter but now having received the gift of the holy spirit through paul and barnabas and silas who were worthy of the calling and who baptized me in iconium after i was baptized then i saw a certain man standing clothed in white raiment and he said to me be of good courage, John, for assuredly thy name shall be changed to Mark, and thy glory shall be proclaimed in all the world. And the darkness in thee has passed away from thee, and there has been given to thee understanding to know the mysteries of God. And when I saw the vision, becoming greatly terrified, I went to the feet of Barnabas, and related to him the mysteries which I had seen and heard from that man. And the apostle Paul was not by when I disclosed the mysteries, and barnabas said to me tell no one the miracle which thou hast seen for by me also this night the lord stood saying be of good courage for as thou hast given thy life for my name to death and banishment from thy nation thus also shalt thou be made perfect moreover as for the servant who is with you take him also with thyself for he has certain mysteries now then my child keep to thyself the things which thou hast seen and heard for a time will come for thee to reveal them. And I, having been instructed in these things by him, remained in Iconium many days. For there was there a holy man, and a pious, who also entertained us, whose house also Paul had sanctified. Thence, therefore, we came to Seleucia, and after staying three days, sailed away to Cyprus. And I was ministering to them until we had gone round all Cyprus. In setting sail from Cyprus, we landed in Perga of Pamphylia, and there I stayed about two months, wishing to sail to the regions of the west, and the Holy Spirit did allow me. Turning, therefore, I again sought the apostles, and having learned that they were in Antioch, I went to them. And I found Paul in bed in Antioch from the toil of the journey, who also seeing me was exceedingly grieved on account of my delaying in Pamphylia and barnabas coming encouraged him and tasted bread and he took a little of it and they preached the word of the lord and enlightened many of the jews and greeks and i only attended to them and was afraid of paul to come near him both because he held me as having spent much time in pamphylia and because he was quite enraged against me and i gave repentance on my knees upon the earth to paul and he would not endure it and when i remained for three sabbaths in entreaty and prayer on my knees i was unable to prevail upon him about myself for his great grievance against me was on account of my keeping several parchments in pamphylia and when it came to pass that they had finished teaching in antioch on the first of the week they took counsel together to set out for the places of the east and after that to go into cyprus and oversee all the churches in which they had spoken the word of god and barnabas entreated paul to go first to cyprus and oversee his own in his village and lucius entreated him to take the oversight of his city cyrene and a vision was seen by paul in sleep that he should hasten to jerusalem because the brethren expected him there but barnabas urged that they should go to cyprus and pass the winter and then that they should go to jerusalem at the feast great contention therefore arose between them and barnabas urged me also to accompany them on account of me being their servant from the beginning 
and on account of me having served them in all cyprus until they came to perga of pamphylia and there i had remained many days but paul cried out against barnabas saying it is impossible for him to go with us and those who were with us there urged me also to accompany them because there was a vow upon me to follow them to the end so that paul said to barnabas if thou wilt take john who also is surnamed mark with thee go another road for he shall not come with us and barnabas coming to himself said the grace of god does not desert him who has once served the gospel and journeyed with us if therefore this be agreeable to thee father paul i take him and go and he said go thou in the grace of christ and we in the power of the spirit therefore bending their knees they prayed to god and paul groaning aloud wept and in like manner also barnabas saying to one another it would have been good for us as at first so also at last to work in common among men but since it has thus seemed good to thee father paul pray for me that my labour may be made perfect to commendation for thou knowest how i have served thee also to the grace of christ that has been given to thee for i go to cyprus and hasten to be made perfect for i know that i shall no more see thy face o father paul and falling on the ground at his feet he wept long and paul said to him the lord stood by me also this night saying do not force barnabas not to go to cyprus for there it has been prepared for him to enlighten many and do thou also in the grace that has been given to thee go to jerusalem to worship in the holy place and there it shall be shown thee where thy martyrdom has been prepared and we saluted one another and barnabas took me to himself and having come down to laodicea we sought to cross to cyprus and having found a ship going to cyprus we embarked and when we had set sail the wind was found to be contrary and we came to corassium and having gone down to the shore where there was a fountain we rested there showing ourselves to no one that no one might know that barnabas had separated from paul and having set sail from corassium we came to the regions of isoria and thence came to a certain island called pitiusa and a storm having come on we remained there three days and a certain pious man entertained us by name euphemus whom also barnabas instructed in many things in the faith with all his house and thence we sailed past the anaconasiae and came to the city of anamoria and having gone into it we found two greeks and coming to us they asked whence and who we were and barnabas said to them if you wish to know whence and who we are throw away the clothing which you have and i shall put on you clothing which never becomes soiled for neither is there in it anything filthy but it is altogether splendid and being astonished at the saying they asked us what is that garment which you are going to give us and barnabas said to them if you shall confess your sins and submit yourself to our lord jesus christ you shall receive that garment which is incorruptible for ever and being pricked at heart by the holy spirit they fell at his feet entreating and saying we beseech thee father give us that garment for we believe in the living and true god whom thou proclaimest and leading them down to the fountain he baptized them in the name of the father and son and holy ghost and they knew that they were clothed with power and a holy robe and having taken from me one robe he put it on the other and his own robe he put on the other and they brought money to him and straightway barnabas distributed to the poor and from them also the sailors were able to gain many things and they having come down to the shore he spoke to them the word of god and he having blessed them we saluted them and went on board the ship and the one of them who was named stephanus wished to accompany us and barnabas did not permit him and we having gone across sailed down to cyprus by night and having come to the place called chromiceta we found timon and ariston the temple servants at whose house also we were entertained and timon was afflicted by much fever and having laid our hands upon him we straightway removed his fever having called upon the name of the lord jesus and barnabas had received documents from matthew a book of the word of god and a narrative of miracles and doctrines this barnabas laid upon the sick in each place that we came to and it immediately made a cure of their sufferings and when we had come to lapathus and an idol 
festival being celebrated in the theatre they did not allow us to go into the city but we rested a little at the gate and timon after he rose up from his disease came with us and having gone forth from lapithus we travelled through the mountains and came to the city of lapidistus of which also timon was a native in addition to whom having found also that heraclius was there we were entertained by him he was of the city of thomasus and had come to visit his relatives and barnabas looking steadfastly at him recognized him having met with him formerly at citium with paul to whom also the holy spirit was given at baptism and he changed his name to heracleides and having ordained him bishop over cyprus and having confirmed the church in thomasus we left him in the house of his brethren that dwelt there and having crossed the mountain called chianotes we came to old paphos and there found rhodon a temple servant who also having himself believed accompanied us and we met a certain jew by name bar jesus coming from paphos who also recognized barnabas as having been formerly with paul he did not wish us to go into paphos but having turned away we came to curium and we found that a certain abominable race was being performed in the road near the city where a multitude of women and men naked were performing the race and there was great deception and error in that place and barnabas turning rebuked it and the western part fell so that many were wounded and many of them also died and the rest fled to the temple of apollo which was close at hand in the city which was called sacred and when we came near the temple a great multitude of jews who were there having been put up to it by bar jesus stood outside of the city and did not allow us to go into the city but we spent the evening under a tree near the city and rested there and on the following day we came to a certain village where aristoclianus dwelt he being a leper had been cleansed in antioch whom also paul and barnabas sealed to be a bishop and sent to his village in cyprus because there were many greeks there and we were entertained in the cave by him in the mountain and there we remained one day and thence we came to amathus and there was a great multitude of greeks in the temple in the mountain low women and men pouring libations there also bar jesus getting the start of us gained over the nation of the jews and did not allow us to enter into the city but a certain widow woman eighty years old being outside of the city and she also not worshipping the idols coming forward to us took us into her house one hour and when we came out we shook the dust off our feet over against that temple where the libation of the abominable took place and having gone out thence we came through desert places and timon also accompanied us and having come to citium and there being a great uproar there also in their hippodrome having learned this we came forth out of the city having all shaken the dust off our feet for no one received us except that we rested one hour in the gate near the aqueduct and having set sail in a ship from citium we came to salamis and landed in the so-called islands where there was a place full of idols and there took place high festivals and libations and having found heracleidas there again we instructed him to proclaim the gospel of god and to set up churches and ministers in them and having gone into salamis we came to the synagogue near the place called biblia and when we had gone into it barnabas having unrolled the gospel which he had received from matthew his fellow laborer began to teach the jews and bar jesus having arrived after two days after not a few jews had been instructed was enraged and brought together all the multitude of the jews and they having laid hold of barnabas wished to hand him over to hypatius the governor of salamis and having bound him to take him away to the governor and a pious jebusite a kinsman of nero having come to cyprus the jews learning this took barnabas by night and bound him with a rope by the neck and having dragged him to the hippodrome from the synagogue and having gone out of the city standing round him they burned him with fire so that even his bones became dust and straight away that night having taken his dust they cast it into a cloth and having secured it with lead they intended to throw it into the sea but i finding an opportunity in the night and being able along with timon and rodan to carry it 
we came to a certain place and having found a cave put it down there where the nation of the jesuits formerly dwelt and having found a secret place in it we put it away with the documents which he had received from matthew and it was the fourth hour of the night of the second of the week and when we were hid in the place the jews made no little search after us and having almost found us they pursued us as far as the village of ladrians and we having found there also a cave near the village took refuge in it and thus escaped them and we were hid in the cave three days and the jews having gone away we came forth and left the place by night and taking with us ariston and rodon we came to the village of limnes and having come to the shore we found an egyptian ship and having embarked in it we landed at alexandria and there i remained teaching the brethren that came the word of the lord enlightening them in preaching what i had been taught by the apostles of christ who also baptized me in the name of father and son and holy ghost who also changed my name to mark in the water of baptism by which also i hope to bring many to the glory of god through his grace because to him is due honour and everlasting glory amen the journeyings and martyrdom of the holy apostle barnabas having been fulfilled through god end of section eleven